in this lesson, we want to explain how to create uh, paging the book like this. We use a bend deformer and then clone it and then use a step effector. And then in a step effector, we uh, in a parameter, we use a time offset for stepping the animation of the uh, our cloner. Let's start. Okay, to begin, we create a plane and make it a thinner to simulate like a, a page of the book and use a bend deformer. First, the direction of the bend deformer is important. So we want to bend in this direction. We um, turn it to the 90 degree. In this situation, it's better that you use uh, bend uh, manually to change it to if you make it the holding uh, shift it does not act well yeah i think that's nice and make it the child of the plane and as you can see this is our bending for better quality you can go to the plane and make it a better simulation for um increase the number of the <clears throat> high segment go gross shading nice and we can turn the band off to don't see that this is nice uh we we have to animate it so we want to extra uh, strengths here okay frame in such as this frame we make it like this it's nice and okay frame again as you can see, we have a bending animation like this. <laughs> nice. Okay, and we clone this plane. Hold Alt and clone it. As you can see, it's clone in a wrong direction. Yeah, it's clone in this direction. No, we want, don't want it. We want in this direction. Yeah, end point make it uh, smaller to bring it there you can assign a darker material to better sync that yep it's because of the color of the cloner you can change it but uh, make it this direction nice you can choose a ticker plane or extrude it's not important okay and we change the number yeah as you can see we have a lots of page here now uh if you play as you can see whole the pages are going together because they're all cloned in one animation in a cloner inter an important thing about the um if you want to uh, stepping something uh in order you can use a step effector as i explained before here go to effector and select a step if you select the step effector in by default it scale we don't want to scale in a step effector we want to just a step time offsetting of our animation as i said explained before here in a any effector especially if a step effector we have a time offset if you change the time offset and if you play it as you can see they are simply change the offset of the animation so if you have animation in your object that you clone it you can change the offset of that animation with uh, step effector it's nice you can change the time offset by changing the frame nice Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, 
and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.